Introducing WaveShare's ESP32-S3 microcontroller USB stick, a fantastic little tool for numerous projects. It comes with a fantastic 1.47 inch LCD display. And mind you, it's not touchscreen and it's kind of fragile, so be careful with this. It comes with 18 GPIO pins, nine on each side, a micro SD slot right here for you to put a micro SD card in, two tack switch buttons on each side for boot and reset, four standoffs, two on the top, two on the bottom, powered by one of my top three favorite MCUs right there, the ESP32-S3, capable of both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi with an internal antenna, has 512 kilobytes of SRAM, 384 kilobytes of ROM, 16 megabytes of flash memory, and 8 megabytes of PS RAM. To give you a size comparison, here's it side by side with the Raspberry Pi CM3. And in this video, we're going to turn it into our own personal hacking device. Now, there are a couple of ways we can flash this little guy. There's the easy way and the hard ways. There's the Arduino route, the ESP IDF route, and the ESP Web Tool by Spaceman Han, which is the route we're going to be taking today for this video. Now, you're going to want to have to search USB Army Knife by I Am Shodan and find the Git for it. Once you're on the Git, you're going to go to Releases. Now that we're at Releases, we find our WaveShare ESP32 S3 LCD 1.47 firmware binaries. Now, after we've downloaded and extracted the files, you should have these three files, the bootloader, firmware, and partitions, but we're still not done. You're going to have to go to the wiki slash installation and find that little hyperlink that says boot underscore app zero dot bin. After clicking, it'll take you to this page and we click download raw file. Now that we've downloaded our boot app file, we go back to the ESP web tool and from our files, we put bootloader first, then partitions, then the boot app, then firmware. But before we do that, we're going to hold the boot button and plug in our drive to our computer. And after you've done that, it should come up as USB JTAG Serial Debug Unit. And then double check that you have everything in the appropriate sections. Make sure that the values to the left are exactly what you see in front of you. 1,000 at the top, 8,000 after that, E, triple zero, and then 10,000 on the bottom. And it should look like this. Give it a second to flash. And ta-da, you have your own little pen testing tool. Now, if you scan Wi-Fi on your phone, you should find something called iPhone 14. Click it. The password is password, all lowercase. Then browse to this URL, and you have plenty of options to choose from, like Wi-Fi Marauder. Also, don't forget to put in an SD card. We also have tools like this available on our website, valleytechsolutions.tech. And only testing.